Okay, guys, welcome to this year eight angles in lines and polygons. Okay, and I got this from the White Rose Maths website. So, White Rose Maths are a fantastic resource, yeah, for primary students okay, and secondary students, yeah. So, all the way from key stage one, okay, right the way through, yeah, and including, yeah, like just see yeah, and, and even post 16 level maths. Yeah, so please do, guys, yeah, if you get to yeah, obviously check them out, yeah, they are like a fantastic website, yeah, and they have like really, really good, actually, like. Um, stuff out there, yeah, that is quite useful actually, yeah, um, for, yeah, GC maths, okay, and GC 3 maths, and GC 2. Okay, this is question number one. Work out the size of the unknown angles. Okay, so A is 125 degrees, and that's because, okay, vertically opposite angles are the same. So this angle, sorry, 120, sorry, not 125, Steve, sorry. Okay, so where are my arrows actually pointed here? So these two are what I call yeah, vertically opposite angles. Okay, so vertically opposite angles. Okay, okay, now to work out angle B, okay, well, angles on a straight line, yeah, add up to 180. Okay. So if we do 180, subtract 123, 123, sorry. So if I minus 120, I get 50. And if I minus 3, I get 47. So B is equal to 47 degrees, okay? Because angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Question number two, label the angle that is corresponding to the angle shown below. Okay, so corresponding, yeah, so corresponding, yeah, it is like an F shape, so yeah, it is going to be here, so these two are the same, yeah, so it follows like, like a little F shape, okay, there, like that, okay, this one here, yeah, if you see it, so, so this one here, yeah, it, it, it has difficult, so this one will actually be alternate, okay, but the red one, yeah, so, so, so the actual red one, yeah, it is actually corresponding, yeah, only, okay, yeah, so it's like F shape. Okay, question number three. Work out the unknown angles. Give reasons for your answers. Okay, so X is equal to 57. Okay, because, yeah, alternate angles are equal. Okay, so they are both, yeah, what I call alternate angles. Yeah, so alternate angles are equal. Okay, for that. Okay. So it follows what we call, yeah, that little, like, Z shape, okay, like that, okay, yeah, so it follows that, okay, so these two are the same, and these two would also be the same, yeah, because it follows, yeah, the alternate angle, yeah, so if, like, a line bisects, you know, like, two parallel lines, then that's where I can use, yeah, these, like, little angle rules, yeah, and laws, okay, this next one, so Y is equal to, well, if I do 180, take away 35, because these are what I call, you know, like, coterior angles. So these two angles, when added together, have to equal to 180, yeah. So this is what I call, you know, coterior angles, okay. So if I subtract it, what do I get? Well, 0 take away 5, yeah, I can't do, so I have to borrow. So that goes to 7, that goes to 1, 10 take away 5 goes to 5, 7 take away 3 goes to 4, and then I've got the 1 there. So Y is equal to 145 degrees, yeah, because coterior angles add up to 180 degrees, okay, yeah, so it's like, like another angle fact, yeah, so coterior okay, angles add to 180. Sorry about my hand drying, guys, but hopefully you can forgive me. Yeah, so it's called coterior. C-O-T-E-R-I-O-R. Okay, so it's it, 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 like an E there. So coterior. Okay, question number four. Work out the size of angle marked k okay yeah so this is what i call yeah an isosceles triangle so 
these angles are the same so that'll be 31 look here because it is nice so this triangle angles in the triangle add up to 180 degrees so i've got 31 plus 31 which is equal to 62 okay one plus one is going to be two uh, so it's going to be 60 180 subtract 162 that will give me 180 actually i'll just double check that so yeah i can't do that actually that one so that becomes 10 10 take away 2 goes to 8 7 take away 6 goes to 1 and then i've got the 1 there yeah, so k is equal to 118 degrees because angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees okay that's my answer for that question this next one so in the space below construct triangle pqr such that pq is 7 angle pqr is 30 and angle r pq is 55 okay so this, this this one I can't do actually because yeah it involves like like, yeah, like a compass yeah and a protractor okay but you would start by measuring PQ first yeah, obviously using your ruler and then you like start measuring yeah yeah your actual angles there so PQR so all yeah would have to be somewhere here so yeah measure with like a protractor yeah, so measure obviously thirty degrees. So it might be like that, okay, let's see. And then like that, okay, yeah. But use your protractor and compass, yeah, sorry, yeah, to actually measure your ankles, yeah, so make sure you're happy with that, okay. So I'm gonna second and speak here first, yeah. So PQR, so that's meant to be 55. No, sorry, that is meant to be 30. R P Q so that that is meant to be 55 actually there so yeah so 55 there and 30 here so you would obviously use your protractor for that one this next one right the math mathematical names here of these quadrilaterals so this is what I call a trapezium okay it has one pair of parallel sides this next one here so this one here is called a parallelogram actually yeah, so it has two pairs of parallel sides so parallelogram so parallel just means yeah like lines actually like never meet yeah so think about it as like train tracks they never meet yeah if that makes sense okay so question number seven guys so mo measures each angle in the quadrature yeah, and finds yeah, there was a diagram. Okay, explain how you can tell that Mo has not measured these angles accurately. So, firstly, if it doesn't add up to 360, then obviously Mo's actually made a mistake. Okay, so let's actually work out to the side. So, 78, 65, 100, and 118. Yeah, they don't add up yet to 360. Okay, because straight away, actually, because the, the last column here doesn't end in a zero. So 8 plus 5 here is equal to 13. That'll be 21. Okay, so 1 carry the 2. 7, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that'll be 16. 1 there. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is going to be 3. Okay. So the angles here do not add up to 360. Okay, yeah. So yeah, it equals 361. Which is not equal to 360, okay? Because angles in a quadrilateral must always add up to 360. Yeah, that is the rule, guys, okay? So that's, yeah, like, like the first way of saying that. Okay, question number eight. So work out the sum of the interior angles of a heptagon. So heptagon here has seven sides. So you'll have your 180 brackets n minus two. Yeah, so that's the formula yeah, for like the sum of interior angles. So if n is equal to 7, then I have 180 lots of 7 subtract 2, which goes to 5. So 180 times 5. Okay, that'll be 900. Okay, 0 times 0 is going to be 0. 5 times 8 is going to be 40, so 0 carry the 4. 5 times 1 is 5, plus the 4 is going to be 9, okay? So the interior angles, okay, all this, yeah, add up to 900, 900 degrees, guys, yeah, in a regular 
yeah, heptagon, yeah, so a heptagon, okay, yeah, or, or, yeah, a irregular, or, 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 yeah, a regular or irregular heptagon, yeah, if that makes sense, okay, so write down the sum of the exterior angles of an octagon, an octagon here has eight sides, the formula would be a 360 divided by the number of sides, okay, so 360 divided by 8, so what I can do is just half it on the top and bottom, so I get 180 over 4, half it again, and I get 90 halves, or 90 over 2, which just equals to 45, okay, yeah, so I made it a bit, a bit, a bit more easy for myself. So the exterior angle, yeah. Oh, sorry, exterior angle, sorry. Somebody of, 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 of an octagon, yeah. So I've got to obviously times that by eight. Because each exterior angle, yeah, is equal to 45, five, 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 yeah. Obviously, I've got to times it by eight, yeah, because, yeah, it's saying the sum of that. So five eight is going to be 40. So zero, carry the four. Okay. 8 and 4 yeah, is going to be 32, plus the 4 is going to be 36. Oh. Sorry, yeah, it should just be 36. There, she apologise. Okay, yeah. Let's give it angles of note. Okay. For that. Okay. So question number 9. Bisect the angle XYZ showing your construction line. Yeah, I've put across here because, yeah, I've, I've, I've not got access to a online compass and protractor yeah but obviously yeah so you would like use your compass so you put like a little cross here yes yeah, so, yes yeah, so obviously more than halfway here yeah, without obviously changing it okay and then from there you put like a little cross here from there you put like a little cross here then they would obviously intersect it yeah and you you'd obviously draw your your point obviously yeah, like through the actual intersection yeah, if that makes sense with, with like a ruler okay Okay, so yeah, so you, you would obviously do that here with your compass, okay, and the ruler. And this one here, yeah, you would like use your protractor and ruler and pencil. Okay, yes, yeah, so, so sorry for like doing that, yeah, obviously a bit quickly. Um, but yeah, question five, yeah, it is called like constructing triangles. And question nine, yeah, it is what we call your yeah, angle bisection or angle bisector. Okay, so you are, yeah, you are cutting the angle, yeah, like in half, yeah. So yeah, it's the same size on both sides. Yeah, so compass and a ruler, okay, for that, okay. So yeah, so bisect here means yeah to cut in half here. Yeah, so cut in half exactly the angle. Hence why it's called your yeah, angle bisection. So you are cutting the angle in half. So it's the same size on both sides here yeah, of my angle or line. Okay. So you, yeah, so like measure yeah obviously over halfway. Obviously you know once you measure yeah I'll obviously make it a, a bit like longer here. Yeah. yeah, so if it was me, I I make it a bit longer. Put it there. And then obviously I put like a little arc there, okay, without actually changing it. So, so without changing it, then take your compass here, yeah, put your point on there, yeah, yeah and, and your pencil. Obviously, yeah, so pencil here yeah, will obviously do that, okay, and that would obviously do like a different motion here, yeah, if that makes sense. Yes, yeah, so that would do like that, let's see, and then where it obviously crosses. That is where you obviously draw your line. Okay, so yeah, so that draw it, yeah, through, 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 through obviously that point there with your ruler. Okay, obviously, yeah, I, 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 I've, 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 I've not got like a ruler actually yeah, for this one. Hopefully, you can like forgive me, okay? But that's the process here yeah, of angle bisection. Okay, right, guys, that's the end of today's video actually. Yeah, so sorry if I actually like stuttering, yeah, a bit actually. Yeah, sorry if I actually stammering. Hopefully, it made sense. Any questions, any queries, any topic requests, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Okay, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all inside the next video. Okay, there are more GCSE, uh, yeah, paper two and paper three, like, um, videos coming out soon, yeah, um, especially on TikTok, yeah, over the, yeah, half term break. So, yeah. Um, keep your eyes yeah, uh, purely for that okay 
and on YouTube. Okay, and I'll see you all very soon. Okay, bye for now. Take care. All the best, guys. See you soon.